show you guys today how I figured out how to locate a tomato hornworm during the day. Um, and we'll also do a second part of this video where we'll show you tips and tricks to find tomato hornworms at night. I was over here just pruning off suckers off of these smaller tomato plants and actually surprisingly I didn't notice the damage that was done to these branches. Um, I actually was picking off suckers and I was kind of a little bit lower checking these lower branches and I noticed something down here that was my first indicator that there was hornworm damage. So. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can totally see. So that is a hornworm poop. Um, so that was my first, yeah, that is gross. That was my first sign that we had a pest issue. And then I started looking up a little bit higher. And let's see if I can point out where the poop is on the branch. Yeah, there we go. Back on those branches, there is more poop, um, but it was dried. So I kept looking a little bit higher and higher, couldn't find anything. So I went around the plant and I started finding some more fresh poop. Let me see, where did I find it? Um, aha, here it is. Um, where's my finger? Okay, I'm gonna need you to film because I can't see what I'm doing. All right, so right here on this branch, there's a little bit more fresh poop. And so I kept looking around, looking around, let me print this off because I'm already here. Um, looking around and trying to identify branches that had damage on them. Um, and kept searching, kept searching, and kind of moved my way up from the fresh poop. And what do we have here? We've got our tomato hornworm. These guys will devour a plant in a day, especially at this size, um, and you do not want that. So these actually will bite, and they stick to your plant. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Mommy. Uh, this one I think is too big for my chicken to eat it. I don't think she'll, even our larger chicken, I don't think she'll eat this one. So I am going to... Sadly, I'm going to have to chop this one up and then I'll feed it to her, but um, we've tried giving her ones this big before and it's just too, too much for her to eat. I think she's overwhelmed by the size of it. Um, but if I were to just, so we have a wooded area surrounding our entire property line. You can pan around. There is a wooded area surrounding us. I could relocate it to the woods, however, they will most definitely find my tomato plants again. And it'll be a reoccurring issue. If we were to let this grow, it would turn into a big beautiful moss. But I'm sorry, I have too many precious tomato plants. I'm not quite ready to uh, see them devour my plants. Um, we're gonna come out here tonight and I will show you how I find them at night. It's actually much easier at night than having to look for the clues and, and do some searching up the plant. Um, so we'll end this video here for today. Um, and well, for the morning. <laughs> and, well, and then we'll come back uh -huh, at night uh -huh. and uh, show you what we do next. Another one. This one is much smaller. Um, this is. It's hard to see now. Yeah, this is a very small um, hornworm. It's the lighting room. There we go. I can see it now. All right. This is a very small hornworm. Uh, I just happened to see it while I was pruning these ones. Um, 
This will get to the size of the one that we just pulled off in a day if it's left to eat all the plants, which it will devour plants. Oh yeah, this one started squirting. This is just a little tot. You see all the juice that it's already squirting out? So gross. Um, but the good thing about having chickens is, follow me, they love wormy worms. Come on guys. here searching for hornworms and using a black light and right now it's a little bit light it looks lighter on our video than it really is out here but uh, it's a little bit less effective when you use it this at this point you really want it to be dark when you're doing it however it still does work we have a friend right here we actually found him earlier when I was doing some pruning um, right now with the the video, it's kind of looking pink, but to our naked eye, he is glowing green, which is kind of interesting that it turned yeah, out that way. Um, um, so one. what I'm going to recommend doing is putting a glove on to remove them because they can bite and they squirt this nasty goo. Um, the first time we found one on our dwarf tomato plant, it squirted out a clear gel thing. Yeah, <laughs> gel thing. yeah, but then recently the ones that I've been finding squirt out their green like insides, which is literally bright green. Um, and they hang on really tight to the plant. Can you see him real good? Yeah. His legs are like wrapped around the plant and he you kind of have to pry them off. But there's our friend. 